All right, now for something kind of unique and different, at least from what I've had in the past. Um, when I thought my controller was going bad, I ended up buying a second one. So that's currently connected to my major layout. But that meant I had an extra controller. And so now I kind of thought creatively, I'm like, wait a minute, I wonder if I can take some track and put it around my computer desk here. And uh, that's exactly what I did. So I got a nice little layout going all the way around uh, my computer, which is fun because um, it gives me a nice up close and intimate look uh, at the cars and the track and the trains, uh, which I don't normally get or I'm certainly not used to because if you go over to where my normal layout is, you know, with the Legos and everything, yeah, it's really cool, but it's like way over there and uh, you don't really see the trains so up close and personal. Um, you know, you're kind of far away, especially when you're watching TV, sitting on the couch, which is over there. Don't mind the giant Lego Bugatti that I'm working on. It's taking up half my living room right now. But anyway, you kind of get the picture. The train's usually way far away, which is still cool. But this allows me to get a nice up close and intimate personal, you know, closeness to it. It's, it's really cool to have, I've, I've noticed since I did this yesterday, uh, to be on the computer and have the trains go by, you know, right in front of you there. Um, otherwise, you know, the closest you really get is down beneath my desk, which is, you know, all glass, so you can see through it at least, but it's still a top-down view when the train actually makes it over this way, uh, so it's still not as far or as close. This is definitely, like I say, uh, a different and unique approach, which I th I'm, I'm really starting to like. Uh, but that's not all. So as part of this video, I thought I'd also kind of reveal these Kato sets that I got, uh, which are two uh, passenger trains as well. Actually, I just got this too. I found this at an antique mall the other day. It's a it's a HO scale uh, no Norfolk Southern engine. It's a dummy, so there's no engine inside, but it looks really cool. Um, and the case is amazing and that, that alone is probably worth 50 plus, you know, retail and I didn't pay more than $30 for this. So I thought that was a great buy. I don't really know where I'm going to put it, but, uh, it's right there right now on the desk, <laughs> as you see. So anyway, why don't we go ahead and pop up, pop open these cars. I've not even opened these yet or run them around. So I figured I'd kind of do that now as part of this reveal and, uh, go from there. So the first one I got here um, is a really cool, man that's tight, uh, <laughs> red Japanese coach car, which I don't have any red cars and I thought this was really cool and unique. Um, although if I'm looking at this closer, it looks kind of looks like a prison car because of all these bars in the windows, but no matter, uh, I think it, it's, it's a good color. And uh, like I said, I don't have anything else anywhere near red uh, as far as a passenger car goes. Um, I will say they kind of probably go well with my blue ones that I got last year. Uh, I got seven of these, I think. No, five of these. So I got five red ones and five of these. So same kind of thing. Um, so that's cool. I think they'll look really good rolling together if I were to combine them. But right now, I'm just gonna set those in. Probably do another one here. That's the problem, I, I bought these because they were uber cheap. <laughs> um, I think these were only $10 each, all said and done with shipping and tax and everything, so couldn't pass up that opportunity uh, for something cool and unique that I didn't have, and I think it would be, you know, a good luck to, to build out. But, like I said, the problem is I don't have any space in my display cases. Um, they're out of room. So here's the next one. Funny there's no plastic thingy on it, but they're like orange and green. I don't know if the video does it justice. It looks kind of dark when I'm looking on the screen, but uh, these were kind of cool too. And these were even cheaper. These were $6 each. Um, so again, I couldn't pass up that opportunity. I only got three of those because A, that's how many they even let you buy. And um, Also, I think three is enough because it's a goofy color. So I don't necessarily want a whole bunch. Plus I knew I was getting the red ones and I already had the blue ones. So I think that's just fine uh, for now. As, uh, as you do. <laughs> so let me pop on another red one here. 
That's it. I like variety, so... Um, yeah, they're kind of similar in a, certain ways. But now that I have three different colors and three different styles for Japanese engines, you know, even if you have an American train pull these, I think it's... I think it, it'll look just fine. There's no lights in these, and I don't think I'm gonna get them. Uh, I got plenty of other cars with lights, and there's pluses and minuses to having lights. Um, especially since I'm not on DCC, and I don't necessarily want to go DCC, because that just seems like a fortune to do and a pain to get going. I just want to run the train, like, just, just let it run. Um, I noticed the new Metro one I got the other day, too, which I already did a video on works perfectly for cars with lights because it has a very high uh, power uh, rating before it kind of moves or something like that because the, ca the car lights turn on so soon. And it might be my new power box too that I got the other day. Uh, might have something to do with it too. But um, the lights don't flicker as much anymore when I'm running that, the, the one that's kind of going around now actually. Um, So, one more car here, that makes it a total of 5 plus 3, 8. We've got going on here around the desktop, new loop. So there we go. Put that box back. Do, do, do. Okay. I think we are just about ready to give this a good old run around. All right, got it all loaded up, ready to run. Um, you know, it's a simple loop, so it's not nothing crazy, but uh, here we go. Obviously, you don't want to, like, fly this down and run it at, like, full speed <laughs> on the dust top, because it's got to be super loud. Uh, I'd much rather have a slow-moving, quiet engine that just kind of creeps on by. I think that will look super great, and it already is looking great. Uh, to have, you know, when you're on the computer running by. I'll notice too, my temporary solution of getting over the wires and back is to stand up them on these poles. Um, I think it works pretty good until I figure out some sort of long-term tunneling solution. But, uh, yeah, the new cars look good. That's a great looking red. <laughs> you know, I like it. I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, as far as the layout goes, it just kind of wraps around the monitors, comes over here, and then uh, back across this way. So that's cool. Um, another bonus of having such a short little loop is the trains come by so frequently. You know, you blink, especially a longer one like this that takes up like a fourth of the track. Like you blink and it's already coming back around the other, the other side there. So... See, how cool is that? Just to have a train creep on by your computer. So I'm on my computer a lot. With work and just regular normal stuff. <laughs> so this is cool that you get a, like I said, a much more intimate, up close and personal and unique vantage point that I don't get on my normal layout, which just goes, you know, completely around the living room there. Um, that other guy's still running too, the new Metra. See, look at those lights. They actually stay on <laughs> at that speed, which is incredible because I never really did that before. So I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with this layout too. Like I said, I I'm really liking it. It's coming out great. And uh, just for kicks, why don't we speed it on up a little bit. Just to see. See, the problem too is my normal layout's on carpet, so it kind of muffles the sound a lot. Whereas this is on pure glass. <laughs> it's much, much more louder. Because there's nothing to absorb the sound. So that's another reason why I want to, you know, keep it running slow.
But yeah, love the new cars, love the new layout. This is just a fun little thing I've tr I'm trying. And uh, it's all temporary, like I could take it down if I need to. If I need the desktop space or something, you know, no worries there. So what I'll try to do now too is do an uh, intimate, up close and personal uh, point of view if I can get it going. For uh, one loop to finish this guy off and ride on into the sunset. 